Hey guys, my Hi. name is Daryl, and I'm Aisha. I'm the founder of Curly Coils, and I'm her friend. Yeah, <laughs> T-shirt towels, yeah, Yay. they're so awesome. So, Daryl invited me over to basically tell you guys how I use my T-shirt towel. Now, of course, it's pretty awesome because it's soft. It's good for my hair, as you see. I have a lot of it. It's super, super thick. After I get out the shower, um, this is honestly the best thing that I have purchased in a long time. So it's way better than your towel because if you're 4C like me, towels are constantly, I get those stupid little fairy knots are getting caught. Um, so to have eco-friendly and actually extra soft baby stuff, what is it made out of again? It's 100% organic cotton. You can't go wrong. I'll say that. You can't go wrong. Um, I am a lazy person so when I come out the shower, I just do the little squeeze, you know, get all the water out of my hair. Um, after that, I pretty much style. Um, I try, of course, as a 4C to style it when my hair is wet. <laughs> um, it helps a little bit with this this madness here. You can fully use it to, to dry your hair, or I know sometimes, um, you know, I don't really have a shower cap, so I can't really show you guys that, but in the process of conditioning, as people would say, pre-pooling, if you want to go by the technical terms, now that naturals use is uh, put some conditioner on your hair before you actually wash your hair, some oils on your hair before you actually wash your hair. Um, put a shower cap on top of all of that and then you can head wrap it to keep all that heat in and sit for about 30 minutes in front of the TV. However you kind of need to work it out and it helps loosen up to make it a lot easier if you are having issues um, like I do sometimes with uh, you know handling all of this. <laughs> um, Hmm, a go-to style. For me, I am very big about simple French braids. So, if you could see, it's just a one-two. Grab one little piece of hair down, and you're simply just side braiding it. If you guys can see that. I usually do this a lot only because, again, I'm a little bit of a lazy natural, especially with my hair um, and the amount of work that it sometimes takes to do it. You can easily just do one crowned across, or you can do one going this way and then one going the second way and put it all in a bun. That's a very professional style. I usually wear this a lot to work, um, and I work in a very much corporate setting. And I sit at the front, so you know, I have to make sure it, it looks, as they would say, professional um, at all times. So, with a simple headband, you can pull it up, you can put it in a bun. Uh, again, even sometimes if you want to stretch this out, you can put another twist in these, as I do, and then wrap it in a full-blown bun. Um, it just kind of depends on the look that you're going for less than two seconds to do this little simple style. Um, I think it's, as I said, that's my go-to. <laughs> I know girls get a little more intricate, um, but when you have a lot going on and, you know, time is of the essence and you know, really don't feel like, you know, spending 20 minutes plus <laughs> on hairstyles, this for me is, is perfect. Uh, if I really want to get jazzy, I'll do a two-strand twist throughout my whole head and then just unravel and easily two sand twist for people who don't know you just take two pieces of hair I never part it some girls part like perfect parts again I'm too lazy for that <laughs> so I just kind of grab hair as it it is on my head and then you're just twisting so that action is just like circling around like you would twist ribbon around a pole or like if anybody has played set one tetherball it's the same concept two different ropes down and so leave them in overnight or even funny enough you can leave them in and use your two strand twist as a style um, and then when you want to get jazzy you can just unravel them and this also is a very professional style to have the twist out so I get a lot of compliments on that one. Um, Jalen, what are your go-to's? Um, so you know, <laughs> my go-to, I would actually put a braid in the front instead of the little twist now. I'm not, I'm not really good at it. The little twist motion, it was flat twisting, that's what it is. I'm much better at just doing a great old French braid in front. 
Um, the other one is this bun that I have here, and I actually take it out for you guys. So, see here. In the morning, what I'll do is if it's a, a wash and go, I will actually wet the hair and use my headband. Um, you can see here, it's a full headband. I'll actually double it up and put the hair up in a nice little top bun. And the reason why I use a headband instead of a hair tie is because the hair ties, they don't really, they don't really last very long when they're break. Um, so I'll put it in a little top bun. And then, mind you, the hair's wet. Um, and I'll take the towel and I'll wrap it around the bun for a little bit. Um, and just leave it wrapped and, and then put on my makeup and put on my clothes. And then when I'm ready to go, I'll un unravel the towel. And I'll scrunch, I'll pull the hair out like this and fix the shape of it and then I'm ready to go. Now, um, that's a typical day for me, but if you're, say you're going on an interview, I probably would take pieces of the hair and twist, let's see, let's see. See here, it's like, um, it's about, I know, I'm trying to get the right yeah. angle. <laughs> so, you just twist it and there's no twisting it around, you're just twisting the hair and you tuck it underneath the headband. And you do that all the way around. And what it does, it puts it in a little bit more conservative bun, depending on right. where where you're going and what you're doing. So this is also good, a good one for like a date or a night out. But if you're going to work, it's a really good go-to. And so you use the curly coily towel to basically preserve the style. And Correct. Keep... And it basically doesn't, it keeps it from getting frizzy. So um, that's the other thing. Like once once it dries, of course, mm -hmm. your hair is a little a little bit different. So the towel preserves the shape of the of the coil, and that's what you want with oh, yeah. curly hair. So all that hard work. That's the one now, if you <laughs> if you have, so you can see here, I have like a nice little a nice little conservative bun, and I'm ready to go. So this is another way to do it, and you can do it in smaller pieces. And it basically looks like, I think, a croissant, almost like oh, a yeah. little croissant roll on the, on the top. <clears throat> Give you a little imagery there. Yay. Um, so, that's just another example of what you can do. Um, let's see. And then, of course, for those of you that love wash and goes, you can just take this and leave it on your hair and, of course, get dressed and do all those other things um, all while you're on the way out the door. And then just take it off and then fix the shape, of course. So, it's a great way to... Um, get your get your hair in order um, and to get rid of the moisture really quickly so I'm actually kind of frustrated when I leave my towel um, or at the gym workouts um, so I'll take it to the gym with me and yeah, I'll leave it really in my yeah. yeah so I'll leave it in my gym bag and especially if you're like sweaty or whatnot and I have to wash my hair really quick so I'll wash my hair and I'll use the towel and then like I say go go right to the back to the top bun where the uh, hair is out and just be out so it's really really quick and simple yeah I will say it it definitely dries your hair pretty quick um, I normally have a problem with that as we all know with thick hair um, you know the top parts with the regular towel get dry but you know back here and back there just seem to still be wet um, and this does a very good job of making sure everything gets wet because sometimes like in the winter time when you do your wash and goes you don't want to be stepping outside with wet hair um, it's definitely not healthy you're gonna end up sick and uh, it's not good for your hair as well because then it's having that shock factor of that cold air hitting those cold, wet shafts. Um, and it's, it's, not, it's not good for your hair. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people, they say, oh, well, I don't use a towel. Well, part of the reason why we don't use a towel is because we're like, oh, it's going to over dry my hair or it's going to frizz my hair up or it's going to absorb all the product. And this towel totally doesn't do that. And um, when I first went natural, the reason why I ended up developing the towel was mainly because um, all I had were these orange t-shirts, because um, I went to Diego Wahoos, but um, I had these orange t-shirts laying around the house, and um, I'm like, okay, well, are these 100% cotton? What else am I putting on my hair? So the other thing is they're smaller. They don't necessarily fit around my head. So um, I was like, wait, why don't I just create one? So that's exactly what I did. Um, so... And we're happy she did. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys um, enjoyed the tips that we went over in this video. And uh, thank you for uh, look, checking out us online. Of course. And any more questions you may have for Daryl, please make sure to visit the website. Leave comments um, so that we can make sure that we're answering those questions. Um, or if you guys have different styling tips for us, 
I am more than open to some other Lazy Girl styling tips or if you have a cool way to wrap the towel. Um, summertime is, is in, so I'm all about the, you know, wrap life. with an all cute, bohemian chic look. Um, so again, check out the website. Yes, um, the website is curlycools.com and we also have 10% um, off. A coupon so we'll put the coupon in I think there's a virtual gift bag or down on the YouTube video and then also we there's free shipping if with a minimum purchase so we hope you guys Perfect. would love to use it so um, we look forward to seeing you guys yes and best of luck thank you for your service